Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So, I have gone away and got my list of people to recruit. I'm gonna go through the list now so that you can tell me where I'm wrong. So, here's my list. It is Hilda, Leone, Sata, Flane, Hanneman, Manuela, Catherine, Cyril, Raphael, Ignatz, Lorenz, Aloise, Shamir, Yuri, Constance, Balthus, Happy, Lysithia, and then two at the end are Ash and Mercedes, which we need for a paralogue. So that's quite a lot of recruiting. However, we get Seth from Flame for free, we get Catherine and Cyril for free, so I mean, that's that done already. Aloise we get at a certain point in the story, we get Kat and we get Shamir as well, we get Yuri, Constance, Balthus, and Happy right now. So it really only leaves us with like, um, Hilda, Leone, uh, let me see, oh, we also get Hanneman and Manuela, so it's Hilda Leone, Raphael, Ignatz, Lorenz, Lysithia, Ash, Mercedes, which isn't really that many. And we don't really need Ash and Mercedes. The only reason we would need them is Ash has a paralogue with Catherine, which apparently is available on all routes, and Mercedes has a paralogue with uh, Caspar, which we saw on the previous route. I just realized I forgot one name because I only went through the support lists and this character does not have any supports, however, does have a paralogue. You all know her, you all hate her, I hope. It's Anna. Right, uh, so that is everybody that we need. And Anna we also get for free. Right, next thing that we're gonna do, we are gonna go through all of these and start setting up people. Now, Edelgard? I'm sorry, we don't really care. Edelgard is going to be used as little as possible because essentially she doesn't matter. She is in many different battles as a, a you know, required character, but apart from that, we don't really need to care. So, uh, we're going to give her, like, I don't know. I guess Axe and Brawling seems fine. Yeah, Axe and Brawling. There we go. Hubert, once again, doesn't really matter. We're going to give him Reason and Brawling. Here's our first choice, Ferdinand. Now, what is Ferdinand good at? Ferdinand has a skill in heavy armor. I'd be interested in getting that. Maybe we'll get him heavy armor. So we'll get him heavy armor. What kind of class does a heavy armor lead him into? So heavy armor is gonna lead him into Fortress, into Armored Knight, right? Yeah. So I guess that means we wanna get him Axe and Lance. So what we're probably looking at is Axe and Lance. There we go, that's what he starts with. Cool, so those are his two weapons. Lindhart, we need two weapons for you. Now, one of them's obviously gonna be magic, which means that the other one is likely gonna be sword, right? If we're going for two, because sword's the only one that has a class with that. Of course, we could give him another one. We could just give him, um, like we could just give him bow or something like that. But yeah, I think sword seems sensible. So we're gonna give Lindhart sword. He's probably not gonna be used for the whole thing anyway but where you need to learn sword and white magic. So this is kind of what I'm aiming to do. It's gonna be weird builds, they're not optimal. I'm just telling you that immediately, these builds aren't optimal, but we're gonna do them because they're interesting. So, Caspar uh, has no positives, uh, as, uh, no sorry, no hidden talents. However, he has brawling and axe. Now brawling and axe don't really seem that different for me, but I think we might give them both. Yeah, because I've allowed him to give double hits and then have his axe for like big single hits. So what? there is a class that uses both, isn't there? Uh, later on in special? Does Warmonk not? Yeah, Warmonk uses both. Perfect. So Brawling and... Oh, that uses Brawling and Faith, not axe. It, has, it just has a picture of an axe. Hmm. That doesn't really uh, work for me. But is his Faith bad? Let me have a look at this. Maybe his Faith is terrible. His Faith is neutral. All right, all right, all right. Hear me out. Why don't we give him Brawling and Faith? And we can get his axe later. I mean, he already has axe enough to get the current class that we need him to have, which is Fighter. Yeah, so we can get some of the other ones up there. But then we can somehow get him into that class. That sounds intriguing and have him be axe and punching. We're probably not gonna use him for the whole playthrough, but it's an interesting way to go. Bernadetta, what are you good at? This is this is our question for each one. Bernadetta, what are you good at? You are good at riding, so we want you to be able to be on a... Um... Oh, yours are easy. Yeah, I just realized. It's the one that's that are there. It's Lance and Bow. 
I was gonna say, she needs to be on a horse. The horse ones all require you to have Lance, Lance, and Bow. It's a good combo. And I mean, we could even go for like the Cavalier class over the Archer class and have her running around with a bow on that class. It really doesn't matter. So that's something we could try. Dorothea, what are you good at? You are good at Faith. Okay, so Faith, but that's, you're already gonna get Faith. Uh, Reason, okay, and Sword. So I guess yours is Sword. Yours is Sword and, Sword and Reason. Yeah, so you're fine. I just realized that all the skills are set up originally for this, which is kind of interesting. There's not that much that we need to do. And Petra, I believe you're sword and bow, <laughs> if we're going down the normal path. You can also get axe. Okay. You also get flying. I mean, last time we had Petra, we made her an assassin. I mean, again, we might not use her for that much because we have a lot of other people I'm planning on using. But maybe we'll go for... Uh, I guess we're not probably not going to use her long enough, but I guess we'll go for bow and sword for just now, maybe. Or we could also go for axe and bow with her, because axe is good on her. And then that would allow her to potentially move into a flying class with axe. Wait, she, she can't get wyvern. Can she? Oh, she can. Perfect. So she can get wyvern rider, and I think in the master one she can also get it. I thought for some reason she could only get pegasus, but... No, she can also get Wyvern. Oh, that's good. Does Pegasus require you to have a sword? Uh, Pegasus Knight requires you to have Lance. Hmm. Yeah, I think, oh, I think uh, Falcon Knight requires a sword. Yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll try that. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. She's gonna end up like our Claude from the, uh, first run that we did. Okay, cool. So that's our idea. And then we are gonna go Axe, uh, and Sword. Because Axe and Sword, for us, should allow us, if I go to roster, because we can't look at ourselves in the other way. It should allow us, it doesn't show it, but they, I believe there is a class down, is it in advanced? Oh no, there we go, hero, right there. I believe that apparently that requires axe and sword, is what I've been told. So that's our plan. Okay, um, and to get Hilda, we need to get axe. And why is it important about Hilda? You can only recruit her on one month of this playthrough. And it's the final month, so. We need to be able to have the skill that allows her to be easily recruited, which is Axe. There is one other thing we need, which is the stat. The stat is Charm. We will naturally get Charm. I just want to double check something though. Do we, in here, have a Charm increase? If we have a Charm increase, that's what we're going for. Nope. Okay, I'm going to leave the rest of those for just now. They're really strong early, but we're going to try it without resin for a little bit. Right, let's go. I just realized I used an in-joke from a different stream, but that is okay. A girl's voice. What could it mean? Nobody's here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a new month, so uh, time to change up the outfit. Let's see, what month is it? It is... May. You know what? May. We're, we're feeling a little bit... We're feeling summery. I'm gonna wear this. Do we want to wear the glasses? Yeah, I think I want to wear the glasses. I like the look. Yeah, cool. All right, so let's go. Um, and then we're gonna head down here. Hello. To Abyss, yes. But yes, if we can get any charm upgrades, we would definitely want to. I guess what that means actually is that we need to get our tea parties correct so we can get the charm upgrades. Yeah, okay, well that's possible. I should know every character by now. I should be able to get the tea parties done. But we'll see, we'll see. Basically, we have to tea party at all opportunities. Sounds fantastic to me. What's that? Right, we're down in Abyss. Now, obviously, um, he's not spawned in yet. Uh, I think I'll go down here and look at something else first, though. The Influencer. Need something. Now, for exchange for Renown, he can gather people. Now, uh, what does he do? So this one uh, gives you a place of worship. So I believe that that one allows you to trade your Renown for stuff. Um, encourage recycling so we can get unneeded goods. Both of those sound fine. Reduce inn prices. People will go to the inn. So I think that unlocks the guy in the inn. Uh, I believe that these are like Wayseer and something else. I think they're... Uh, oh, Wayseer and Library. I believe that these are all unnecessary now, apart from maybe like the first two are maybe good. Soon. So we could keep our points in order to spend them at the statue. Yeah, we could spend those at the statue instead, potentially. 
Although, maybe I grab the first couple? Yeah, you know what? Need something. I'm gonna this grab one? Inspire Worship, because that's useful if we need items. Uh, and then Encourage Recycling. The rest are unnecessary. The Waste here is interesting, but isn't necessary. Again so we'll leave it be. Right, These, this guy should have spawned in now. Yeah, hello. Hey you, you're from up top, right? What business do you have here? Wait a minute. Ah, got it. You're that new professor, aren't you? I suppose that means I have to let you pass. I guess, welcome to Abyss. This town is full of rough and toughs, so watch your back down here. Okay, will do. Right, along here, hello. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing, what are you looking at? I don't want any trouble, get lost. That's what I thought, right. Good, we won that argument. Uh, we're gonna head this way. Hello there, Happy. Come on, who are you? Wait, shut up, let me guess. You're that new professor, right? You just started teaching up on the surface. Have we met before? Nah. Even here people have been talking about you. Not that the gossip got everything right. I heard you were beautiful, but obviously that was an exaggeration. Wow. What? You want to know if I can help out? I've got time, but I don't want to spend it all serving the church. Don't make that face. Fine, fine. I'll back you up. Uh, join my house. Yeah, sure thing. You know, I've never really had a teacher before. And it'll be my first time at the Officer's Academy. Sounds like fun. Perfect. Right. Oh, we can speak to her again. Oh, Chatterbox. You been looking for me? I'd prefer not to visit the surface if I can help it. I don't want to run into any knights. Um, okay, let me just tick her off my list. I decided actually just then I'm gonna make sure that I use this list consistently and uh, actually make sure that we get everybody on it. Right, head down here. Who have we, oh, we got this um, thing which might actually be useful right now because we don't have a ton of gold. Yep, got it. So we got an iron lance and rusted gauntlets. Eh, it doesn't seem that good, but occasionally you get things that are half durability that might have worked. All right, just having a little squat. That's all right. Hey, Constance. And who might you be? Not an Abyssian. That much is clear at a glance. A visitor from above, perhaps? With what purpose? None in particular. Are you mocking me? <laughs> you clearly haven't the slightest inkling of where you are. Oh, but of course! You must be the new teacher specially appointed by Lady Rhea. That is it, yes? Rumors have been flying underground about you. Well then, I am Constance Von Nouvelle. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> oh, have you come to beg my assistance? Then rejoice, for you have the aid of a new bell. You did come seeking my aid, yes. Hopefully with something befitting my station. Like what? Yeah, just join me. An assignment for the Officers Academy? How splendid. I was a former attendee there myself, you know. I shall be a model of grace in my duties. Fantastic. So that's two down. Let's see, Yuri? Oh, does she want to speak to us again? Huh. Come to invite me to a lesson or some such, have you? I prefer not to be above ground during the day when I can help it, unless there are storm clouds above. Okay. Um, there isn't actually, if we go to Constance, I actually have a slight problem with her. Um, because she has Edelgard in hers, which we can maybe get up to B in, but we definitely aren't getting to A. And then the other problem is that she has one more support in here, which is Yuritsa. So we're kind of miss her because she's kind of a crimson, she's the crimson rose one that you're to recruit. So that's unfortunate, but hey. Whoever you are, it doesn't matter much to me. But I do advise getting out of here before you get tangled up in trouble. Unless you've been sent here under someone's orders. In which case, I'll happily show you a good time. <laughs> um, I heard about Abyss, so I came to find it. Well, I do like people with a healthy curiosity. You are aware of how dangerous it is down here, yeah? Yeah. Huh. You're that mercenary turned professor, aren't you? The one who showed up at the monastery kind of recently. Yeah. 
You're the one I've heard so much about. Well, I guess it's fine you're here then. You can call me Yuri. You'll want to remember that, if you ever come down here again. Want my help, hmm? Sure, sure, why not? But I don't do anything for free. In exchange, let me attend the lectures you give those noble kids, yeah? Yeah. It's a deal. Come on by whenever you need me. If you're wondering why I won't come up to you, it's because I've got people to watch over in Abyss. Well, nice to have you, Yuri. Um, if I had to pick a house, I would suspect that Yuri most leans towards our house, as in to the Silver Snow route. I mean, he's got two members of this one. I mean, he does have Ingrid as like a wild card, but these two members are of this route, and there are people who will stay with us on the Silver Snow route, which I think is the kind of signal there. Ah, it's you. Bit of a trek coming all the way down here, huh? I'll be helping you out now. But just so you know, my life is still down here. If you can't find me in the classroom on the surface, you'll likely find me here instead. Okay, cool. So if, if you're following suit, uh, if you're following where we got, we got Silver Snow, we got uh, Crimson Rose, Happy was obviously Azure Moon, so that would mean what I'm about to tell you next isn't going to shock you. Balthus is pretty much the Golden Deer one. He has supports with everybody you would expect, including Claude. I haven't seen your face before. You're clearly not from around here. You don't strike me as the thief or merchant type. I don't owe you money, do I? Uh, no, I'm a former mercenary. Oh, you're that new teacher everyone's been yapping about. Funny. Thanks to me, you don't look so tough. The name's Balthus, formerly of the Alliance. Don't beat around the bush, pal. You want my help, yeah? Can't blame you. Look, I get it. You're the new professor. You've got a lot on your plate. You need backup? I'm your guy. Fine, you've talked me into it. But I'm gonna need you to sweeten the deal if you catch my drift. I'm not sleeping with you. Uh, yeah, invite you to- and we're gonna invite him to our house. Beautiful! Now about that sweetening. I'll need to attend your classes whenever the mood strikes. I get bored from time to time, all cooped up. Alright, cool. Well, did you come all the way here just to stare at my rippling abs, or did you want something? If you're gonna ask me for help on the surface, it better be real important. I try not to go up there unless I absolutely have to. Okay, and if we have a look at Balthus's supports, uh, you should see that we have those three, Lysithia and Hilda. He is the sole reason I believe that we're recruiting Lysithia, but you know, it's a good enough reason. And then we have this down here, which is the Pagan Altar, which we can go and trade Renown for. So we can offer Renown in order to get weapons, uh, the kind of thing that's been suggested that we grab earlier, things like Rapiers, which are actually pretty good, so I'll probably grab one of them. Right, and then anything else that we need? Uh, steel Axes are probably really good. Yeah, that might be worth grabbing one. Uh, I'll grab a Steel Axe. Yeah, especially as we're not really spending a renown on uh, upgrading this place any further. So grab a Steel Axe. Do I want to grab a bow? I mean, we could grab like an Iron Bow Plus or something. Yeah, we could grab like three of those. That should do for who we need to have them. Uh, in fact, you know what? We're going to grab another couple of Steel Axes as well. Just trying to think about who else we got with things. Sword-wise, we could probably do with like a couple swords. I know we're spending a ton of our renown here, but I think it's going to be worth it. Anything else that we need? Gauntlets? We don't need gauntlets. I mean, gauntlets uh, don't get so much of a benefit that we need them. In fact, we don't need any of it, but it's useful. What's that? And in here, we have you. Such an innocent face you have. This isn't a place for innocent people. Especially not if you're carrying money. I'm not, well, I guess I am carrying money, but you know. Not carrying that much money. Let me just check. We clear it out? We did. Cool. To the monastery! All the way back. So that's got us Yuri, Constance, Balthus, and Happy. Uh, Yuri, Constance, and Balthus are going to be permanent squad members, which is great. That does mean for the Happy Paralogue, we're going to run into issues, because Happy 
is going to be weak. So it's the same issue we ran into with Balthus when we did that same paralog, is that um, we're going we're to run into an issue where they can just kill Happy. The other side of that, though, is that Balthus is a tank, so we can run him forward into the gap and basically block everyone. But I need to think about that a little bit, because we might want to level Happy up just somewhat. In fact, I should look at their goals as well, now that we got them. Goals. So, Yuri, your goals, where are we going? I suspect, actually, what are you good at? You're good at bow. Well, that seems like a perfect secondary for you. So if we're going bow and sword, maybe, he's also got a strength in reason, faith, and authority, but if he's going bow and sword, I mean, I think you know where I'm going with this. He's an assassin, right? Is his class? I think assassin makes a lot of sense. I mean, obviously his natural class is this one. Uh, the trickster, which allows him to use sword and magic. Assassin's cool. We could also just go with that one and just use a bow. Yeah, we could just go with that one and use a bow. Because uh, you don't need that much faith for it. But yeah, essentially straight off, uh, we're looking at a, a sword and a bow. There we go. So that's what we're going for him with. We're going with for him. Balthus. You got bonus and reason. Okay, your class is easy. So Balthus, he's brawling and magic, which is of course the class that he has anyway. It would be this one. Right, and then what we do is we get him faith up to the point where he can get that class and we do faith, reason and brawling. Yeah, seems easy. Does he have anything else? Also, he's got king of grappling. What's that? Strength in defense when HP is low? Ooh. There's probably a way to abuse that. Um, probably. If we have a look at Yuri, what's your one? Honorable Spirit. If not near an ally, grants three attack when in combat with a foe one space away. Interesting. Three attack in combat with a foe... Oh, when you're standing next to one? Oh, okay. So his doesn't benefit bows. But that's okay. Uh, you, we're not looking at brawling. We're looking at... Well, sorry, not looking at axes. We're looking at brawling and... Faith, I think, for you for just now, which is good. Constance, what's yours? Ah, yours is the beat, yes. So you grant magic and strength when indoors and defense and res when outdoors. Okay. Which on some maps, it does actually matter. You got strength in brawling. Yeah, okay, so I think you're brawling faith, right? Brawling faith reason, you're the same. Uh, which I think was suggested to me in the comments when I did remember that and somebody said it looks really cool. So let's do that. Brawling and faith. So it's a little bit of an odd group we're building up, but we're going to have a lot of crossover because, naturally, if we're going for multiple skills, it's just going to be natural crossover. That's okay. Right. Uh, oh, and Happy doesn't really matter, but let's see. Um, so Happy, we're not going to level her X, but we do want her to be... Maybe we do bring... Actually, I'm thinking about it. Because we don't get permanent members of our party till later, we don't get Catherine... We don't get Cyril until later, right? Uh, and we don't get Seteth and we don't get Flane. So that's four members out of our, let's say, ten-member squad we're not getting until later. If we bring Happy along, um, we can ditch her at, at the second half of the game. Yeah, that works. Okay. So Happy, you're good at axes, so we'll do axe and... You're the... Ex uh, wait, okay, you're axe, though, which is slightly different. So you can't go for the same class... But you could go Axe, Flying, and Reason. There's like three. Yeah, let's do something like that. It's probably not going to work, because she doesn't have very high um, well, strength. But, you know, we'll try. Let's go Axe, uh, and Reason, maybe, to start off with. Yeah, and see where that takes you. Okay, so we'll use Happy. Awesome. Right, uh, and now we need to go talk to people. In fact, I should talk to Gerald first, in case he has something that actually means we need to talk to someone else. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? Uh, is he not like 80-something? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. A real battle this month, huh? I hear from the Knights of Seros are involved. I never taught you much about tactics, but there's a primer on it in my room. Give it a read. 
Cool, so we'll grab that on the way past. Good, thank you for that. Got Claude and Dimitri. Get out of the way, dog. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. Claude just looks uninterested. I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. Okay. Hey, to do. It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. What if I want there to be rumors? Yeah, okay. We, we know the context for that. Uh, are there items this month? I don't know. There's definitely no items there because there's never items. Th Actually, there's one item that drops up there for the DLC, but you know. Oh, we've never been here. It's the training grounds. Hey, you can skip it. Cool. You skip it by pressing plus, I think. Hello. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. Okay, thank you for the warning. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. I forgot at the start of the game the fact that every character basically says, here's what I'm interested in. Here's why you should like me. Like, ev every single character does it. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? Skill. You might be right, but when it's all said and done, I still think muscle comes out on top. Oh no, I got it wrong. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Ooh. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> yes, Dorothy is looking for that. Um, uh, right, heading this way. Ooh. Oh, I already had the map on full. Okay. In here, and we have Hubert. I fully accept the necessity of real battle from time to time, but it is still a surprise to be tasked with punishing bandits without warning. It is a rather different sort of mission. It makes me wonder what the Archbishop is planning. Okay, hello. For some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green to you? No, you're wearing red and your hair is white. Is there anything else you wish to ask me about? Regarding spending your time at the monastery? Or battles? Nope. Okay. Moving on. Who have we got in here? We have... Ash. Hello. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? He's gonna say no. I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. I just realized, I was just thinking about him and Catherine and the paralogue and I was stalling for time while I worked out my thought. Um, I just realized I never actually checked Catherine and Cyril for who they need um, to have. Do I still have the page open? No. Okay, cool. Um, but I need to check who they need for support, so that might add a few to our list. I don't imagine it's going to add anyone new because we're recruiting so many and we already did so much on the Blue Lions route with a lot of them and the Golden Deer route, but it might add someone. Hey, what's up, Tomas? Well, do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. What is that symbol he's got on his chest? It's not very clear, but it does kind of look evil, doesn't it? Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Uh huh. Sorry, I'm just zooming in. By zooming in, I mean walking past and seeing whether I will move the camera. I was trying to figure out if that was the those who slither symbol. It might be. I, if you told me it was, 
I believe you. So, you know, if it is, let me know. Right, uh, oh, can't go that way. That's, uh... Let's head out here and speak to... Professor. Oh, it's Anna. Hello there. Are you that new professor everyone's talking about? Name's Anna. I'm a merchant who slings wares all across Fodland and beyond. I come in here all the time, so I'm sure our paths will cross more. Hopefully, much more. Good. See professor. you later, Anna. Oh, I'm sorry, are you the main character? Would you like to go first? Please, do not let me interrupt you. What the? All right, yeah. Uh, uh, that one tried to go past before I did. No manners of these students. We got Earthworm Jim. Hey, Dorothea, what's up? Oh, Professor, hello. I was just looking for my... Well, it's, it's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Let's search for it. Uh, um, okay. Oh dear. Hello. What is it? I'm not doing anything! Um, it's... Hey, what's this cake doing out here? Cake? Oh, c come on. That's just cruel. I know, and heartless. But I do it every time, so... Uh, don't see any items there. Just being certain that we double check for items everywhere. Sup, Shamir? Have we met? No. Sorry. You remind me of someone I know. I like to think that every time someone says like, Oh, you remind me of someone. It's because they can vaguely recall the other timelines and they're like, Wait a second. Deja vu. Hey, Marianne. Uh, I'm sorry we're not recruiting you. Uh, hello. I, I know it leads to very unfortunate ending for you. And I hope that you're gonna be okay in the next timeline. Um, if you'll excuse me. Maybe we should recruit her just to be safe. Hey, XP. You know, if you want me to recruit Marianne, this is your time to say. Because I don't believe it's that difficult. Uh, we will harvest the dew seed. Fantastic. Then we're gonna plant, uh, let's see. Oh, we only get one seed? Uh, just do mixed herbs. Sure. Uh, I don't believe cult. Oh, it doesn't matter about cultivating because one, it gives you predicted yield of two. Oh, that's a pretty good one anyway. Yeah, two yield with nothing else is pretty good. Oh, there's no way to go up here yet. Okay, fair enough. Uh, ooh, fish. We got XP. Ooh, what have we got here? Hey, more XP for learning about fishing. Uh, over here. White trout. Hello. Oh, actually this one. I thought he had a quest. He's just saying everyone's catching big fish today. This is the wrong day to do fishing. Uh, so we're not going to do it. Over here. Ooh, what we got? Wild game. Okay, good to pick up all of this early because we're going to need it for all of the meals we're going to have throughout this uh, playthrough. This one. Yeah, I don't think there are any of the items that you can give to people here on this month. I think so... it starts next month. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Cool. Not this the marketplace, but we don't need to see the video. Hey. Uh, what do we got? We got a tomato. Okay. Anything else back here that we need? Nope. 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 Okay, cool. So we can't go down this way, but I want to double check there's no item at the end. Oh, there is this person. Be serious. I need your help. I've been sharing my food with the hungry pups and kitties, but there are a lot of them. Can you help me out? Hey, uh, cat, you're the chosen one. I mean, if I can select you. I mean, it's very important that you are the chosen one. Right. Here you go. You shall have. One Armid Gobi. It looks happy. Yay! Thanks! Thanks for helping me out. Let's work together to take care of all our little furry friends, okay? Say, do you have a favorite professor? It's okay to have one, you know, even if I love them all. Called out. Wow. That's like a. I mean, you could be awful and pick a favorite, but 
you know, I'm better and I like them all so... equally. Don't you wish you were as good as me? Oh, hey, you almost showed me a video there. Hello. You look bored. Care to duel? To the death? What? I just wanted to spar. I love how upset he sounds. He just wanted to spar. We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Okay, thanks for the concern about me, mate. Hey, Eloise. Hello there. Oh, Professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. Good luck. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. Is it just me or is Aloise short? Oh, Aloise is gone. Okay, he took offense to what I said. There are way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Yes. Well, everyone knows a plate full of sweets is far preferred to a plate full of vegetables, regardless of age. I don't believe we can recruit her yet. Hello, Petra. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I mean, this is very relevant to the last couple of months. The heat. But you are wearing many things, Professor. If you are not liking the heat, you should be wearing lighter clothes. Well, you, you don't know quite how little I'm wearing. That's a lie. It actually got colder recently, so, uh, you know, you can wear normal clothes. Uh, what we got here? Almond blend. Okay, uh, so we got something Would here. You kindly do something for me? I'm out of recipe ideas. Could you find some for me? Yes, I'll go to the library. Hello. I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? I think every time I say spicy, I'm going to say sweet. Ooh, same. I'll definitely remember that. Okay, I think I said spicy every other time, so that's fine. So she's got bond name bites. We then do a slight bit of going over la uh, territory we've already gone over. And now we can grab all this. Let's grab some almond blends. Hello. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You could tidy up. You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some night he is. All right, I'll see you later. Got lavender blend. We got a Volinari. And we're going over here. And hello. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. You're very rude. If you're busy, never mind. Are you sure? I thought you'd found me out for a moment there. Uh-huh. Well, you know, it's fine. We'll, we'll leave you be. If you don't want to be bothered, we won't bother you. Got a blowfly. We got the Nord Assault Seeds. Okay. And then we're going to head this way. I was thinking, Hello, Sylvain. Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the Academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. Very reasonable uh, take there. The Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the Divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the knights. As a knight, you should probably just never refer to me at all because I outrank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, was that rude? Well, it seemed deserved. Let's see. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? 
Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. I wonder who he's talking about. That person reminds me of someone. I think. Hmm. I actually don't know who he's referring to. Hello, Ferdinand. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. I'm ready. All right, I will list the six great noble families. There's Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyre, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. I look forward to that. There is nothing I cannot achieve. I wonder if he does end up leading the Empire in this path. Who knows? Probably not, because it's probably just hey, merged into the church. Here's an idea. Hello. I hear the Officers Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. I can see. There's not that much excellence. Well, that's unfair. There's a lot of excellence in the houses. I'm just being snarky. Right, there's never any items here. I've checked it every playthrough for three playthroughs. Hmm. The only place where there's an item at this side is in this bucket. Nowhere else is there an item. I, I'm mad at myself for checking it, because I check it every time. Oh, there's no box here yet. Oh, okay. Hello. I have a favor to ask. Yeah, sure, I'll find you students who love music, Dorothea and someone else. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? That's right. Me too. Shall we pray together? We're not cynical on this playthrough. We're very much a goddess-fearing person. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Nope. I see. The truth is, I am not a particularly devoted believer either. But it would be unbecoming for a noble like me to neglect his prayers, wouldn't it? Definitely. Right, headlong here. Nothing's there. I think something's there in two months' time. So, Hello. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Yes, you're two of them. Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. The Western Church, which rules over parts of Western Fodland, has lately made some strange troop movements. If you hear anything concerning, please let me know. We need to speak to a student who is just off the Officer's, Officer's Academy Courtyard. We cannot spend a renown here yet. Okay. Um, actually, there might be something along here once. Maybe. I'll double check. Hey, okay, there's the children being told off. We'll see the end to their story later. Alright, check here, and we're out. Right. So, up to the second floor. Now, uh, how many activity points do we get this week? I think we get two. So, I'm thinking that we spend one of them training with Rhea in order to get our uh, points up. I see. Hello. Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? Um, about the teachings of Seros. Believers live their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. That's definitely a, please don't bother me. There's a library, I've explained it a million times. You know, you can just look up, look it up yourself. 
this is the equivalent of somebody where you say, hey, um, do you know how to do this? And then they send you a link and you go, oh, thanks. You click on the link and it's a, hey, let me Google, Google this for you link. And it does all, it does the thing where it types it into Google and then sends you to the search page and you're like, all right, thanks. I can often be found here. So if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Yeah, I, I need training. I guess we can't do that yet. All right then. I guess with our two activity points, we're going to get very fat. Xanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble, those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. How did you get such a smoker's voice at such a young age? Anyway. Uh, we'll read Geralt's book, which will give us some professor level. Thanks for your help. Yeah, cool. It gave us renown in a bunch of battalions. Cool. Uh, no professor level, actually. Hello. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible. And Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. Alrighty then. We'll head out. Uh, and then we head along here. I believe the other two rooms are shut right now. So all the way along in here. And hello there. Campo, I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. You should visit them in person. I'd like to. I don't have many chances to travel. I feel you there, bud. Right. Uh, this thing. Classic cookbook. So that's the quest. Tantalizing cookbook. And then the last cookbook. Cool. Hello. Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume. It's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? Cool. I think that is us done. We've talked to everybody. Yup. Okay, so now we're on our second loop round, which is heading down here and finishing off quests. We need to find Dorothea and get her to join the society. What's this? Why our sign-up sheet? Oh. We actually just needed to go near Dorothea. I forgot that one. You actually have to speak to her, you just need to go near her. Hey there. Hello there. Uh, this one is the head chef, so we'll quickly drop in and say hello. You're a lifesaver. Right, cool. Now, the thing is we might want to do an, a thing with the chef, and the reason why we might want to do a thing with the chef, uh, I needed to go out this door, is because um, the stat boost is actually huge at this level because it's a huge percentage of your overall stats. Later in the game, it's kind of bad, but early on, it's good. Bridget, Almira, Dusker, even people from far off lands gather here at the academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Yes, don't interact with them. Okay. Um, so we're gonna head up here to the choir. Maybe you can choir today? I can't remember. I don't think you can. I think you can choir from next month. Okay. Hello, choir coordinator. My savior, thank you. Awesome. And we got even more things. You can choir today. Okay. Uh, so we might want to do that. So, well done. You have my thanks. So, let me just have a look at my list of people we're going to recruit. So, I'm just looking at a list so I can find if there's anybody we can recruit with choir stuff who potentially we can't, we're not going to auto recruit. I think that Mercedes is the only person, but we do have a couple of people who just naturally need choir stuff. So let's have a look. Uh, in our goals, to anybody who has faith. So Balthus and Constance, you know what? Let's just do a thing between you two. Uh, Constance. Oh, Balthus loves it. Okay, Constance is neutral. Cool, let's go. I'm not good, but I'm loud. You might want to run for cover. Tra la 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 la, sing out over peaks, ring out over valleys. 
Let's let my lovely voice echo through the streets and alleys. It sounds like Constance into it personally. Cool. You got some professor level. Uh, did not get a thing between them. Let's head up here. I mean, we could just do an eat between them. I mean, they both need, um, yeah, they both need the motivation. Let's do some bonding bites. We're gonna go for, I guess we probably wanna go with people who have an up. Well, though an up's gonna make it better anyway. Uh, we could go with Yuri. And I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Yuri and Lindhart, maybe? I mean, they don't have anything between... Wait, do they have anything between them? Who does Yuri have things with? Uh, Yuri... Has... Th right menu. Yuri has things with Bernadetta and Dorothea, both of which would do don't really want to eat that as their main thing. Of course, we don't need to eat the special. We can just eat any odd meal and get the same benefit. Okay, cool. Um... I know the two I want. I want Constance and Balthus, so I should just look for Constance and Balthus. Uh, Balthus, Balthus, Balthus. There's Constance, no Balthus? No Balthus. There's Yuri and Tappy. Constance, Constance and Balthus, not like the same thing. There's Happy, okay. There's Happy. Constance, oh, let's get Constance and Happy. Balthus, nobody else. I'm assuming ours are at the top because they seem to always be at the top. I know that we're into the territory we don't even have things. I'm just seeing whether there is a meal which has both of them. If not, I know what I'm doing. You know what? I know what I'm doing. I, I know who I want. I want Const Constance and Balthus. So even though it's not their favorite meal, let's go. My favorite meal at my favorite cost. Free. Gotta love this place. Oh, but because it's bonding bites, they do get the benefit as if it was a favorite meal, I think. Oh, exquisite! This is exactly the meal I've been craving. Nice. So do we have a support? No. Okay, thought I'd check. Right, let's end today and carry on. So. It is now going to be the 12th. It's going to be the point where we need to decide what kind of stuff we're doing. Have uh, you not been told what's expected from Lexi? No, I know how to do these. Thank you very much. Um, yes. So, um, let's see. Let's just do Balthus and Constance while we're here. So, we'll get this one done. Perfect. Okay. Pushing in there. He got a star. So he needs uh, another seven. Constance, you're gonna do brawling, so let's get that going. And because we're um, good as at it as a professor, we also uh, get some better level ups for her. Cool, so she's seven as well. Um, and then we need one more, which is gonna be Bernadetta or Dorothea. Let's go Bernadetta for just now. And we'll get this one going. I forgot what her speciality is here, as in what she gets for it, but she needs another eight for her to let that level up. Okay, and then goals, not goals, uh, group task. So we're looking for two people who can do one of these. Let me have a look at our goals here. Here, so we know that we've got flying for Petra. We got riding here. I might just do Balthus and Constance and just give them something pointless because I don't need bro I don't need um, riding and I don't need flying. In fact, do I have anybody planned for riding right now? I guess I have Ferdinand planned for it because he's gonna go heavy armor, so he's probably planned for that ridiculous class at the end. Not that we're probably gonna be using them then, but I guess we'll go riding Ferdinand Bernadetta. Yeah. Okay. Fine. It's something. Better than nothing. I've got a question. Classrooms are so noisy. All that chatter gives me a headache after a while. I can't stand it. Um you could ask people to keep it down. You think I follow? Yes, as you've said lectures are optional, but they're not, so well they're not optional to me. Friend. To be frank, I've never been at ease with lances or axes. I suggest that rather than thrusting one of those clumsy weapons into my hands, you help me achieve mastery of the sword. No. 
We already gave you sword and bow. What more do you want? We're on Saturday. It is a perfect day to exert oneself. Oh no, this is impossible. I think we've actually picked a great pairing. You've got Ferdinand who's really into it and Bernadetta's like, no, I don't want to be here. Help me leave. Look, Professor, we did great. Nice. We got support between them as well. Then we get goals for everybody. All right, perfect. Ooh, we got a C for Balthus already. He's flying ahead. Okay. And then it's a party. Do we get to do tea party? Oh, only flowers. Oh. Okay, that's fine. And now it's an wait. Is it only battle? Wow, it really uh, railroads you a little bit early on, doesn't it? I suppose that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Wait, yeah, is this just a random auxiliary battle? Yeah, okay, cool. Well, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.